Hey guys, Nick Bernaccio here. Um, I'm doing a book review on the book Pop by Gordon Corman tonight. Here we go. Well, the literal subject of the book Pop is about a high school quarterback named Marcus. He moves to a brand new town where he doesn't know not a single person. Um, and then while practicing for upcoming tryouts for the new football team, he sparks up an unlikely friendship with an older man named Charlie, Charlie Popovich. Charlie is a charismatic prankster and the best football player that Marcus had ever seen. Marcus later finds out that Char Charlie is actually Charlie Popovich, also known as the King of Pop, as he had been nicknamed during his career as an NFL linebacker. When school starts, Marcus starts out as a second string quarterback to a kid named Troy Popovich, his only friend Charlie's son. Bummer. Marcus and Troy, then they just don't get along from the beginning. It's just, it just doesn't click, you know? It's like starting quarterback, backup quarterback, doesn't work. A lot of things from football, Char uh, Troy's dad, Charlie, um, Troy's ex-girlfriend Alyssa, girl issues, you know, just basically everything, high school problems, you know, same old, same old. Mm. It later comes to find out that Charlie has a secret and Charlie has Alzheimer's disease from his career football where he forgets things and it's just no bueno. Every single day that Charlie and Marcus meet each other, they don't like... Charlie doesn't remember Marcus, so it's like a new day every single time they meet, you know. The critical subject of the book goes way deeper than just football. It tackles the subject of dealing with Alzheimer's and trying to keep the human mind rejuvenated. This book also goes into the relationships between two completely different people and connects them through the game of football. Also, it's like finding out your differences through something that's completely just bad, like someone's disease and like tragedy brings them together is unfortunate, but that's ultimately what happens. So, Pop is my favorite book that I've ever read in my entire life, to be honest with you. Not only because I'm a huge football fan, but just because the book is so capturing and it just brings you in. It's just Everything is new, like every day is a new day between in their friendship, between Charlie and Marcus's friendship. Every, every day is new, so. And it's just, it's really heartwarming. It warms your heart. If you enjoy books that warm your heart and just, I don't know, just make you feel young again, you know? It's just, it's a good book, you feel? It always brings you in, like every page, like it just makes you want to read more and more and more. Uh, the book, does convey football on kind of a downside with the Alzheimer's, etc. But like it shows through that, like that there is injury in it, but and you do it to yourself and you know it, but it's like the joy you get from it and the happiness that you get from the game is just so much like more powerful than the negativity and the thought that you're gonna have that happen to you someday, you know? It's unfortunate, but it's just the fact that football just brings people together so much and has so many upsides and it builds relationships and forms character like no other. It's just, it's powerful. Honestly, I did not, not like anything really about this book, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, this was one of my favorite books I've ever read in my entire life. Um, Honestly, the what I didn't like about it might be the ending, but like, you might have to find out, but you'll have to read to find out yourself, but no, I didn't like it. It's whatever though. I recommend that you check this, check this book out, honestly. It's really good. It's heartwarming. It captures you. It brings you in. If you enjoy football, if you enjoy a good story, it's really nice really interesting a quote from this book that like just proves everything I just said about how like capturing it is and like how enthusiastic the mind of football is and everything like that a river of perspiration steamed down the middle of Marcus's back so he did what any self-respecting football player would do he cranked it up a notch that just shows 
what it takes, man. It just shows what it is. It's football for you right there. Plain and simple. Hey, peace out. Thanks for checking in on uh, my book review of Pop by Gordon Corman. Thank you very much. Hope you all have a good night. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button at the bottom. Hey, peace out.